I'm Mila, co-founder of Focal Academy, functional health and wellness coaches. Now, as the world starts to wake up to the new normal, a lot has changed, so we're also tweaking the focus on our messaging on how to get ahead in this new environment, this new world. We're still focusing on time, health, and relationships, and we're still utilizing the same set of success principles. Now, growing up, when we saw on the news towns that were completely destroyed by tornadoes, it always made me wonder, why the heck do people live there? And I've asked many adults who usually gave me the answer, because it's their home. Now, recently, a similar thought came to me. This place, although no tornadoes yet, there are a lot of people living in this place. It constantly suffers from serious drought, which limits the people's ability to even water the plants. And with that, every year, this place suffers from multiple huge wildfires, burning thousands of acres of land, contaminating the air quality for weeks and maybe even months, to the point that people who have respiratory issues are asked to stay home. And then, all of a sudden, floods. Not just floods, but also landslides, sinkholes. And to add to that, almost every week, this place has an earthquake. Small enough that there is no property damage, but the looming danger is too big to ignore. So who lives in this place that within a year has drought, wildfires, floods, landslides, sinkholes, earthquakes? It's basically a death trap. And why would anybody want to live there? If you haven't guessed it yet, this place that I'm referring to is California, where people say they love living there because the weather is nice, sunny and warm. And yet, really, it is a big death trap. And it's not only that. They have rolling blackouts, a gallon of gas costs $6 as we speak, and the traffic is so bad that it can take an hour to go 10 miles. It blows my mind that I was one of those people who called this death trap home and kept telling myself the weather is nice here. But once I shifted my perspective, this warm, nice, sunny place is really already a disaster. Just waiting for an even bigger disaster to happen, which is the imminent big earthquake that nobody knows when it's going to hit, but everybody knows that it is coming. So the same question that I kept asking as a child, I'm asking you now, why are you living where you are now? Whatever you call home, is that the best place in the world for you? Is this your home because that's where your parents decided to call home? How is this place treating you? Are you being treated fairly, respected, or are you being treated like a second class citizen or worse yet? A criminal? Is this place worth the money? Are you getting the value that you paid for in terms of your house, your mortgage, taxes, rent, food, food, utilities? Is it a healthy place to live? Do some research on the air quality, the quality of the drinking water and the quality of the food that's available to you. The people that live in the blue zone live longer and healthier, not because of the weather, but because of the quality of the foods is much healthier and nutritious. Finally, are you happy where you're living now? Are you stressed out trying to keep, in, keep up with the Joneses? Is your neighborhood safe? Or are you afraid to go out, fearing the chance of getting robbed or having your car broken into? Your home is where you call home. It is not where your parents decide to live. It is not where you ended up because of your school, your job, your spouse, or whatever. I know it is a difficult topic. I am aware of the emotional ties to our home. But I also know that if you really look at your life at a different angle, you will get a whole new perspective. And you will know whether the place that you call home, is it really worth it? Are they treating you well? Or should you at least Consider other options. If you are the analytical type, you can take a piece of paper, draw a line in the middle, and write pros on one side and cons on the other side. Start listing out the pros and cons of your home. 
I am sure that just by listing out the pros and cons, you will have a whole new perspective. News perspective needs to change, leads to change, and changes is needed for a new, better, improved life. Until next time, love what you live and live what you love. If you like what we've been teaching over the last couple of years, we invite you to join our Focal Daily Program. Every day, we will release one bite-sized lesson to you to help you with your productivity, your finances, nutrition, exercise, relationship, and longevity. Not only do we wish that you have a long life, we also hope that you have the quality of life that you truly desire. And having the best health, relationship, and finances will help you live a happy and joyful lifestyle with the people that you love and care about. No matter where you currently are with your health, finances, and relationships, the Focal Daily Program will help you achieve greater success in your life be a better person for your family, and accumulate more wealth. Sign up now to be on a VIP list for exclusive discount when we launch our program.